No one's even helping them, dude. Come on. Someone's got to get out and help. I have a fire extinguisher somewhere. Oh, right there. I got a fire extinguisher. Dude, someone's got to help. It's going to blow up. Here's the lady. She's like, oh my gosh, my car is on fire. Well, I guess you can get insurance on this, right? <laughs> Dude. Where the... What is that? What kind of car is that? It's going to blow up or what? Dude, check it out. She's running a little rich. Oh, <laughs> damn Looking like the pro light did last year. Looks like the pro light. <laughs> Look at this traffic. Dude. Well, you never know what you're gonna see in Vegas now, do ya? It's all good, and the person got out of the car, but right in the middle of the freeway. It's a little rubbery, I think. <laughs> Look at it. Yes, look at it. First time trying grits. <laughs> What's it taste like? Really? Chicken food? Chicken meal? No, I never heard of it. dirt track it's good I think this is uh, first race of the season for Haley I think it's a good start on dirt so kind of a good way to come out swinging uh, it's cool the tires are different a little softer look like they have a little more grip uh, we've been putting in a lot of time a lot of work Haley and I just putting in laps at the house laps uh, at the car track at the dirt track went up to uh, Sprint car school in Ventura, went and did laps in the uh, sprint cars. We've definitely done our homework, so I'm hoping Haley goes out and just sets a standard right now. And, uh, she, I think she's probably the best dirt racer here. So I've, I've seen a couple dudes that are dirt guys, so I don't, I don't know. I think there's a couple guys that are pretty good, but uh, I think she'll be good. I think she's got to go out and do what she knows how to do and, and just haul ass. Find the grip. Here you really got to find the grip find the momentum the tracks a lot better than it was last year <laughs> last year we came here it was at the in the summer super hot dry windy uh, and the track was crap it was dry dusty and uh, this year it has grip so it's gonna be I'm just interested to see how it pans out like how the speeds pan out now with uh, a lot of grip so should be interesting and then this weekend's cup Xfinity truck so there's gonna be uh, a lot of people here watching so it'll be a good time to win
front, so yeah. they're using the screen more. Yeah. That's why I think like earlier our car was so fast and the track was kind of yeah. more tacked up a little bit. Yeah. To me too, is when she see the car start doing that, like she needs to slow her hands down, you know? Well, and it starts with the throttle like this. Mm -hmm. You know? The orange cars are doing pretty good too, like at opening their entries and coming down. They're kind of sweeping down. Hopefully the track has some grip in it because I know it's fun that way and Haley's been hauling ass with the track gripped up. So uh, I'm going to go out and I'll spot her for practice and qualifying here. God, day two already. I feel a little dusty, a little dry, a little dirty. Um, I think that here, it definitely was windy last night. The track dried out, but it looks like they have some grip in it right now. Do you see the track guy? Yeah. Looks like there's grit. Started, yeah. They did a good job prepping it. I'm gonna do the same thing I did in first good practice job. yesterday. Right, right. If you're coming in like this, you're asking so much of that front tire to do that. Mm -hmm. Like I'm telling you, here, with a nice rotation, carry a little momentum here. When you come here, you get no momentum. Mm -hmm. Your car's just spinning off. Like you need to be out here, off, you know? Your straightaways need to be here. That's it, bottom line, that's your straightaway. There's a lot of bad habits that I like grain racing, truck racing, grain in truck racing that aren't helping me here especially not helping me in the beginning but now it just doesn't help uh, back it down i was just overdriving it which is typical for me <laughs> but a little too overboard so once we get that figured out we should be good so now we're going to the main event i mean we can't we can't go further back i mean we could but like we're not <laughs> we're only gonna go far we'll be good been a pretty entertaining day to say the least but uh starting the race in fourth row outside it's not really where we want to start, but at this point, it's what we got. And I think Haley just needs to, like, I know what she needs to do. Basically, we had to talk about it. Qualifier, I had to let it, I had to let it all kind of unfold how it was gonna. But now it's a long race, 100 laps, so she's just got to hit her marks and keep her eyes up. There's cars ahead of her that are gonna start hitting each other and 
getting aggressive. A lot of young guys that want to win. So the smartest racer will win this race. Uh, you can't win the race in the first few laps, but you definitely can lose it. So I told her to kind of back up, get some room, look ahead. Um, about halfway is where we need to start getting on it, start moving a little bit. The problem is she's, so, she's a dirt racer, so she wants to overdrive everything. And off-road trucks have a lot of suspension and, and grip in the tire, so you can do that. These cars are made for concrete, and this is basically like driving on slick concrete. So it'd be like driving the car to, at, at the track when it's wet. Perfect laps at 60% is what's going to win this race. I told the dude behind me, too, I said the first two laps you're not going to be dive bombing your nose in there. All right, flight band looks over.
place. Well, that was worth the wait. She won. <laughs> I can't even believe she did that. That was sick. Thank you. Good job, kid. Yeah. That's how it's done all day, every day. <laughs> yeah. different directions I had to kind of let that Haley kind of uh, figure it out in the qualifier on her own that that she really needed to to change some things and then uh, kind of almost failed there and then said okay let's sit down and regroup and we went to back to the old ways studied the video drew the map out calmed down and when she stuck to the game plan and it worked yeah we had a few things fall into our lap lappers help tonight but uh, she made it happen, right? She got in the position the last lap, stuck her nose in, held it in there and pushed him out. And uh, it was, hey, she didn't take him out. And it was a good race for the other guy did well. First race, he got second. So um, I think it was a, I mean, an awesome finish. And I can't wait to see the high, highlight reel, but it's never over till it's over. It's only over when you start doing things that are out of the game plan. And a lot of people don't know the game plan yet. So th they'll learn. Wait, what? We're out of here. Vegas was a success this year, so be sure you guys subscribe to the Deegan 38 YouTube channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and check out the next one. I'm out, bro. Oh, they just gotta make pick the outside. Tell them to go to the outside. outside. Right? But none of them want to on the outside. Yeah. It's so squirrely. Yeah, yeah. Same thing at Kurt. None of them want to yeah. on the outside. They just chop it off. It's like the hardest part. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Be sure you guys check out my new shirts available on our Shop Deegan 38 website. Pretty sick new Monster Energy shirts. Won the first race at the season opener of the K&N West Series. So it's only going up from here. <laughs>